Hey, how's it going guys? Um, here I have a little project going on. I have this car. Air, uh, seats got locked up. Uh, well, all the airbags blew in this car. And I have to replace the seat, uh, seat seat belts, basically. So I already did the driver's side. I'm just going to show you how to do the passenger side. So what I'll start with is just remove all these rocker panels real quick. And... Um, what I usually use, I use one of these little tools. I forget what they're called, honestly. Just get in here. I just started on this, but. So to get this rocker panel. This is a Ford Fusion 2009. Usually this stuff, stuff comes up pretty nicely, but not really often. So this one, the middle one, pull it out and then drag it down because it has clips right here. Right here you'll see clips on both sides. They're the same. So I did already the front, so this guy just just slides out. And basically I'm just gonna set this aside. Then this guy, I'm just gonna move him. Well, he's not really in the way until I'm gonna start putting everything back together. Okay, so inside here, there's a little cover right here. So what I'll need to do get my little tool and it just snaps snaps out this is just a little cover lid like that and it will go back on like that so I'll take that off so the tools I'll need is a t45 over here and the bottom over here there's a bolt also also t45 it's a black one and then um, over here there's a little screw uh, eight millimeter so let me get my gun real quick gun so I have a so I have a Dewalt one so I have a little adapter on there so eight millimeter oh that's a 10 actually okay I'll have to get the eight millimeter let's start with a t45 so I'm just gonna do the bottom the top over here So that just comes off pretty simply. Okay, so if you probably, so this is pretty simple right here. Oh, one more thing, the sensor. So basically that little guy right there, the little wire on the bottom of the seat belt. The way to pull that guy off, they're kind of tricky. So what I have, So what I have here is I have a little tool, so one of these little picks and a little screwdriver. I, I prefer the pick. So on the side of this guy, on the side of this guy, I don't know if I can show you. So right here on the side, this is just like a safety lock. So if you get your little pick in there, and get it on like that and just should just pop right out. And screw my seat. Back. Okay. And see it just comes out. So it's basically a little safety lock on there, that black piece. So you open it and we're done here. So let me get my eight millimeter. Let me get my 8mm real quick and I'll undo the last little bolt. And this guy just slides out. So I'm gonna set that aside because I still have to get another bolt. I have to get another bolt up on the seat later. So what I'm gonna do is I got a different seat belt over here. Different seat belt and I'm gonna stick this guy in. I pinched it with a clamp over here so it wouldn't reel in because it gets locked up then. But this is uh, a different good seat belt. It's not brand new but it's a used good one I pulled off from a different car. Okay so this goes on pretty pretty easily. 
Just slip that guy in. Lock it in there. Uh, I do have to change the pins from this old one. Okay, so I just had to fix that little that little pick in there because this was a different color and my connector didn't fit. So I just pulled the this little orange piece from the old seat seat belt and I just put it in there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna reconnect this guy. Just stick this guy in there. This guy just goes in. And then a safety lock, you just push on that black guy and he won't go nowhere. Alright, so now so now I'm just gonna get the rest of this seat belt. I kinda have it out. So put the top piece in. Well, let me put the camera down. My gun. Make sure this is straight. Put this guy in there. So that goes on tight. This will still move. Go to the bottom over here. Get my black screw. That guy's tight. Now I can release that guy. See how it locks up already. Now I'll just put my eight millimeter on there. That guy, I'll pinch this up again so it doesn't reel in too much. Now I grab my little clamp for here, just stick that guy right in, and it just should lock right up. So there you go. Seat belt works. Now let's move to the front on this side so I can show you how to do the front side. Okay, guys, so this is from the front. It's the airbag right here. So on the side of the seat belt, it's this is only on the passenger side. On the driver's side, the bottom of the seat belt mounts on the car, on the interior. This guy just mounts on the seat. So what you do is see this little piece right here. Just pop this guy off. It's just sitting on clips. So I just use my tool, and that guy just slips right out. So this is a 14 millimeter right here. I'm gonna use my my gun on that that guy just slides out so I no longer need this seat belt I'm gonna throw that aside so this is my new seat belt I take this guy make sure this is all aligned when the person gets in so it's not all twisted and stuff so that will go on like that get that guy in make sure you're not cross threading tight take my cover and we're set so that's done with that part next part I'll show you how to get these clips back in because these are kinda pain in the butt you have to actually pull them out put them on the rubber pieces the weather guards and then slip it all in so I'll show you how to do that next alright guys so I left the center console off for now, put the seat belt in, as you, you guys seen. So we pulled these um, rocker panels off pretty easily, correct? But now the hard part is sticking them back in. Ford invented these clips on here. Already pulled off the front one, which is this guy right here. And now I'm gonna, well I already pulled the middle one off as well, but the last one, I'm gonna show you guys how to take that one off and then re-put them back on. So I use my tool over here. So what you need to do is you kind of get underneath there. It has little claw marks on the sides which dig in into the plastic. So you need to kind of make them come loose. 
So I use my tool and just kind of pry it open from one side, from another side. And basically, that separates it from the plastic, and this guy comes off. So basically, you have the plastic sitting in like this, and these two little teeth on the side just dig into it. So when I pry it, I just basically move it aside from the plastic. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is this guy's already on there. So basically just stick these things back on there. So that guy's like that. And then we'll put we'll put one on here. So basically it will go on like this. Like this, and you wanna stick it in the stick it.